Well hello and welcome back. My name's Kieran Siemens and this is my Inky World and we are going to be doing a little bit of a an illustration again today um, just to kind of follow on with some of the uh, worry lips illustrations that you've been enjoying. Thank you very much for all the support. I love you all. Here's another one. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Well, hello. Um, the the, the camera has kind of stopped, and so I've, I've just done the cloud. Nothing, nothing important. Um, it's just basically stabbing down with a with a brush, so you've missed nothing. Um, the cloud is here. Um, the part in the story is where Norman is told of which which life he is going to to have, and, and at this point. The, the person in the cloud, the angel in the cloud, if you want to call it that, is um, has told him that he will have life number 42. OK, and yes, for you clever people, the um, the joke of 42 comes from the um, from the old days of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which the, the meaning of life was 42. I always loved that. I, I, it was a very, very silly. Um, Douglas Adams, I think, is the, the author. Please correct me if I am, if I am wrong. Um, a very, a very healthy. I, th I think he was kind of like a very much into his running and his health and. Um, Died running, I believe. All you experts in in life will come in and correct me, I'm sure. But I believe that's how he died. Going for a run, being healthy. So this is the this is the stage in the story where angel, um, the angel or the man in the clouds if you're that so way inclined the man in the clouds kind of gives him his decided life and his decided life was number 42 it was always quite a lovely um kind of joke in the um hitchhiker's guide the answer to the life and everything was 42. And it could have been any number. It could have been 57. could have been. And it just happened to be 42. Um, I didn't actually think of the Hitchhiker's Guide until I had actually done it. And then later on as I was reading it through, I said, oh, isn't that the, um, is that the same number? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm kind of going to give this angel a kind of a wispy beard and I'm, I'm kind of um, I've got a couple of lovely questions today so I might actually go on and do another drawing after this but we shall we shall see if it leaves me in a very excited mood to go on and do more I always like the idea of angels having beards. <laughs> and why not? Obviously not all of them, because I'm sure there's some female um, angels. Of course, it must be right. Can't all be us beautiful men. Cute. And he does have a another ear poking out on the other side. Let's just get in there and do that. So that's what we're we're kind of working on at the moment. And it's quite a silly part of the the story where he's kind of he's kind of asking about why life is the way it is you know like who kind of decides all these who decides our life is 
this way and that way and then the question was well maybe it's some kind of man in the sky who his job is to decide what life you have and you know what country you grow up in and are you rich are you poor are you lucky are you unlucky you know and I guess at some point in our in our life and thinking we we kind of have that kind of question ourselves don't we <laughs> who chose my life did I choose it did some kind of God choose it did some kind of angel with a job of deciding people's life directions is there like a life manager in the sky somewhere I'm sure that will get me some comments <laughs> now he's kind of reaching down through the cloud that he's sitting on um, which I kind of like I like that kind of vision that kind of image you know um, I mean whether you kind of believe in angels and gods and whatever some of these images of kind of people in the sky with wings and stuff is, are really kind of beautiful images you know I mean, wouldn't it be beautiful if it was true that there were beautiful people in the sky or wherever that kind of looked after us and kept us kept us safe, kept us good, kept us I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, so my angel, um, I've got to be quite careful really the way I, because I kind of did vision this angel to be quite kind of naked in a way. So that's kind of the vision of him. There, in the in the clouds, kind of reaching down. We can kind of shade in a little bit to hide anything rude, of course. And that's the hand reaching down with his ticket of life. What is his judgment? What has he been given? So it's kind of like, again, it's kind of like his imagination. In this, there's a lot of kind of his, his mind kind of playing tricks on him and and I'm hoping that it's going to be something that inspires a lot of people. I'll, you know, this idea that is such a, you know, if such a creative mind was to be given these type of drugs from hospital and how it would make their mind think, you know, maybe not just a, a regular normal person but somebody who's very creative with the the kind of medicines and stuff like that make him think different not that it ever says that he's a creative person but I, I do find he's quite a a childish person I do find his his way of looking at life is rather childish and I do I, I really do like that about the character. I do like his childishness. And I, I do think that kind of helps pull the story along in a way. Which is something that I've been trying to, to kind of fine tune all the way through this. Is like 
how to kind of make these make this story kind of work in a believable way and that's always quite difficult you know and I'm sure some people will love it and some people will not but so there is the <laughs> he does look kind of like here you go I've chosen this life for you there you go that's your life you know and um I had this idea that that no one would react rather oh dear 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 all right I'm sorry I've got a little bit of a rub off that have I got any water there let's just spray my hand down and don't look okay I'm gonna wipe it on my trousers <clears throat> don't look don't look Look away! <laughs> look away! <laughs> right, now you can look. There you go. Clean hand, see? And, um... Always wear your dirtiest, scaggiest clothes when you're drawing. I find that way when it gets all covered in ink and you don't, you don't feel so upset about things. One of the other questions was about um, what does it look like if I draw in a different pen or you know, do I always draw in this type of pen? Well, of course not. It's like, you know, drawing in different pens is, is also um, decided by the project, you know. Sometimes when you're working in your sketchbook and you're doing some watercolors or something and you kind of come up with a character or a image that you like then chances are your book will be all watercolors and what 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 i've just got into a very lovely feeling recently about ink and the beauty of ink and the beauty of all the kind of images that ink kind of throws at me and lets me lets me do you know, sometimes the way the ink falls sometimes can actually be, in my mind, very exciting, you know. I, I do get very excited sometimes about when I make a very, very messy drawing, for example. This is rather a clean one, but again, that was in the style of when I did it in my sketchbook. I did a few drawings of Norman and I really liked them and then... When I came around to trying to do them wild and wacky with my ink, uh, it didn't really, didn't really work. And then I had to, to kind of draw things a little bit cleaner and a little bit more grey. Grey was one of the, one of the things that that came to me. It was kind of, I think the original title was something like, um, like black and white boy or something like that. Um, or something, something, something in a black and white world. It was that type of... I wanted him to kind of wake up and and be in a black and white world. Again, wasn't really thinking too much about why this, why that. Well, but it kind of felt right, you know, that when he woke up, all color had gone. All color had gone from his life. And of course, if, if Mel Gibson contacts me and wants to make a, a movie out of it and wants to do it in colour, we can talk about it, Mel. You know? <laughs> we can talk about it, you know. You give me your reasons and um, give me a good budget and we can talk about it. I think it would make a great movie, actually, to, to, to be fair. I think... Um, there's a lot of elements in this story that I think a lot of people would like. The kind of imagination of it and the uh, the love story of it and um, everything else. Now obviously I won't be able to paint, well maybe I'll 
the ink starting to look a little bit wet up there in patches so I might not be able to paint this but I do like to paint them quite quickly afterwards um, and there's quite a few kind of sketches sitting around over, over, the, other, over the other side so I can't get them I was going to show you some of the sketches that didn't make it and yeah there's a lot of drawings that don't make it a lot of drawings you know like this one I might love it and you know as the story kind of comes together maybe I think oh that's not a good part of the story I will change my mind and, and then it doesn't appear so I hope this one appears And the book will be there soon. I promise I'm working on it. <laughs> Thank you very much for all the comments and and everything from you guys has just been fantastic. As always, I love it. Um, very kind of you all. I do love to know what what you're thinking. And that's kind of that works. That works in a very quick way. But um the idea being here that he's being handed down his life number, his you know like when you go to a, some kind of delicatessen and then you pull a number and then you have and that's your number. That's, you know, or you go to a doctor or whatever. I don't know what different countries have, but so there's Norman kind of getting quite quite shocked by this little angel that has appeared. And the angel is there to now that he has come back to life, he has been given a new life. A new life is number 42 what will what will this life bring him will it bring him love and happiness will it bring him what that's what the book will explain for us so all right i will kind of blotch a couple of patches but i do think it's a little bit too wet too Paint. Didn't do that very well, did you, Mr. Seaman? Did you? No, 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 you didn't. No. So that will be that. That's the basic of the illustration. There will be more to it. There will be a lot more grey in it. There'll be a lot more painted areas into it. But for now, that is the drawing. That is the basics of the image. Once you see it in the book, it will be a lot more grey. The characters will be painted up with grey shadows and whatever. But that is today's drawing for you. And I do hope that you love it. I do hope that it gives you some kind of pleasure to see it. And you will see it in the book. Nice. I'm happy with that. So, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.